Shir is dedicated to Nishmas Rech Levas Rech Chaim Tzvi. Okay, today will be our last year on the topic of Libun. And what we wanted to do, as we mentioned at the end of last year, is we want to explore a very, very fascinating Maris Ayin question. And that is, are you allowed to hang up wet clothing to dry? We mentioned the last year that if you look at the end of Shulchan Aruch in Simen Shin Aleph, Halacha Mem He, the Shulchan Aruch says very clearly that the Halacha is you're not allowed to hang up clothing to dry. The reason you're not allowed to hang up clothing to dry is because the onlookers, the Roam, are going to think that, hey, why are you hanging up clothing to dry? You must have done laundry on Shabbos. And obviously laundry is us to do on Shabbos, and there's going to be Chol issue for that. And therefore, it's prohibited to put yourself in a situation where people will suspect you of an improper activity. Then the Shulchan Aruch added a second Chiddush, and that is that it's Asr Afilu Bechadre Chadarim. It's Asr even in the privacy of your own home. Wow. When Maris Ayin L'Chorah is not going to be relevant, that's a tremendous Chiddush as well. And what we want to do is figure out, at the end of this year, we'll certainly get Halach Lamaisa. Does this really apply? You come home from Shul, you get so wet. And... You want to hang up your clothing as a person would normally do in the bathroom, on the porch, outside. Is that really, really a problem? Is anyone going to really think that I went ahead and did laundry on Shabbos? Furthermore, does this apply to dry clean only clothing? Exactly what are the parameters of this halacha? And then through that process, we'll hopefully uh, see a number of interesting cases and insights into the prohibition of Maris Ayin in general. Where does the sugi begin? Where is it found? So this is a Gemara in Maseches Beitza and Daf Tes. The Gemara tells us it's actually a Mishnah. The Mishnah cites a machlokas between Beis Shammai and the Beis Hillel in the following case. You have these um, dove coops. And um, you want to go ahead and get some doves for Yisudas Yantiv. You want to go ahead and get some birds for Yisudas Yantiv. You have a ladder by an empty dove coop. You want to go ahead and pick up the ladder and transport it from one dove coop to another dove coop. Is that mutter? Is it not? Beishamay says, Ain molich nes asulam, meishovach l'shovach. You're not allowed to ubeis hilal matirin. Beis hilal says you are allowed to. What exactly is the reason that Beishamay says this is usr? So Beishamay says it's Asr because Haroe Omer Lahatiach Gago Hutzarich. The Roa, the onlooker, is going to see this and he's going to see that why am I going ahead and transferring the ladder? Apparently, I want to do some roof work on Yantav, which is obviously prohibited. And therefore, Beishamay says this is Asr. Beishil comes along and says, No, this is not Asr. Shovcho Mochiach The fact that there are these dove nests up high that indicates the onlooker sees the dove nest. He says, no, no, he's not doing this to go ahead and do roof work. He's doing it for the sake of the doves. He needs to get doves. That's clear. And therefore, there is no problem over here. What exactly is the issue? The issue certainly is Marisayan. A person sees someone moving a ladder. The instinctive conclusion is he's doing some work on his roof, something Asr on Shabbos Yantif. Basil says, no, Shovcho Mochiachalov. Then the Gemara has the following discussion. Is this prohibition, according to Beishamai, only in a Rishus HaRabim, or does it even apply in a Rishus HaYachid? Maybe it's only Rishus HaRabim, if it's Rabim Aras Ayin, so it's only that which is going to be seen by others, or do you assume that it even applies in Rishus HaYachid? So the Gemara says a tremendous Chiddush, that according to the position of Rav Yehuda Amar Rav, any time that the Rabbanon asked something because of Maris Ayin, they asked it even Bechadre Chadarim, even in private, the Issa was made. We'll have to see why that is, but it could be, in other words, that this position of Beishamai to be also would even apply in a Rishus Hayachi. And the Gemara tells us this is in fact a machlokes, this is not just the Chiddush of Amrav Yudim Arav, that I feel the Chadar Maser, but it's in fact a machlokes Tanoim, because after all, we are told that machlokes Tanoim, if you have wet clothing, the first day it says, Shotchan Bachama, you're allowed to spread them out in the sun, that's permissible. Avalo Keneger Ha'am, but not Keneger Ha'am. In other words, the Tanakama says you can take wet clothing, spread it out to dry, 
not in public, not in Rosh Hashanah but in Rosh Hashanah yes, Bechadri Chadar Mitzmutter. And Rav Shimon, Osrin, Rav Shimon says, this is Osr, Afilu, Bechadri Chadar Osr even bechadre chadarim. You take a look at the Rambam and the Rambam paskins. If you look in Hilchos Shabbos, Perachav Beis Halachachav. So how do we paskin? Is this prohibition of hang up clothing to dry even in Rishus Hayachid or only in a Rishus Harabim? So the Rambam tells us Perachav Beis. I said Halachachav. It's us to dry them out even in your house. 